Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to connect RSS feed with Instagram. So here, let's suppose that you have a website or a news channel or an e-magazine and you are updating your RSS feeds on a regular basis. So now your objective is that whenever there will be a new update in your RSS feed, then you want to create a post on Instagram by using the same details. So here now to do this, you need to build an integration between these two applications for which I'm going to use this amazing automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be RSS by Pabli and my action application will be Instagram. So if you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to connect RSS feed with Instagram. So here let's suppose that you are running a website or a news channel or an e-magazine and you are updating the RSS feeds on a regular basis. So now you want that whenever a new item is added in the feed, then automatically it should be shared as a post on Instagram. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to add a new item in the RSS feed, then automatically a post should be created on Instagram. So now to do this, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So to begin with this entire automation, I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as connect RSS feed with Instagram. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So here I've named the folder as RSS feed to Instagram. And now I want to save this workflow in this folder. And here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is how to connect RSS feed with Instagram. So here in my trigger window, I'm going to use RSS as my trigger application. And the trigger event will be new item in feed. So this trigger will start working whenever a new item will be added to the feed. So here I've selected my trigger as RSS by Pabli and the trigger event as new item in feed. Now moving to the action window here as I want to create a post on Instagram. So here Instagram will be my action application. So I want to create this post on my business account. So here I'm going to use Instagram for business. And now the action event will be to publish photo. So it will publish a photo on my Instagram account. So as you can see that I have selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So my objective is to connect RSS feed with Instagram. So RSS stands for really simple syndication. It allows users and applications to access updates to websites in a standardized computer readable format. So it's an easy way for you to keep up with news and information that's important to you. And it helps you to avoid conventional method of browsing or searching for information on websites. So as I've selected it as my trigger application, now I need to establish a connection between this. So here I'm going to click on connect. So now here in feed URL, I need to enter the feed URL and this RSS trigger will check for the updated RSS feed at a regular interval. So this trigger will check for new data in every six hours. So here, this is my feed URL and I've mentioned it. You can mention your feed URL over here in this box. So now as I've mentioned it, now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here in Pabli Connect, I have received a response. And over here, I've got the title, publish date, media content URL and the link along with the other details of the new item which I've added on my RSS feed. So let me show you the image by opening it in a new tab. So this here is the image. As now I've got the details over here in Pabli Connect. So now I want to create it as a post on my Instagram account. So the first objective of this automation is set up. That means now whenever a new item will be added on my RSS feed, then automatically it will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will check for new data in every six hours. So as over here, I have got the details. Now I want to create a post on Instagram. 
So here I need to establish a connection between my Instagram for business account and Paply Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now in order to add a new connection, I have already logged into my account in one of the tabs. I'm going to click on connect. And here the authorization is successful. So here you can see that Instagram for business and Paply Connect is successfully connected. So this here is my account that is by the name of Michael Keras. So now moving to the photo URL part and the caption part. So here from the response received, I'm going to map it. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received a response from RSS by Pabli, so here I'm going to map the details. So this here is the URL for the photo and I've mapped it. Now moving to the caption again from the response received, I'm going to map the caption as well. So here the caption will be the same as the title. So as you can see that I have mapped the details. This method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response, so that response can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as I've mapped the details, here I'm going to click on save and send this request. So here you can see that I have received a response and this is a positive one. Now I'm going to take you to my Instagram account. So here in my Instagram account, a new post has been created. It is just posted 54 seconds before and over here you can see this here is the image and this here is the caption. So here a Instagram post is successfully created when a new item is added in my RSS feed. So this automation is a successful one. That means now whenever a new item will be added on my RSS feed, then automatically it will be created as a post on my Instagram account. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.